Hi folks, in this video I'm going to talk about the best astrophotography cameras up to $1,000 to photograph the night sky through your telescope. I'll answer why you should consider buying a dedicated astrophotography camera in the first place and what kind of affordable astrophotography cameras are available from just $150 all the way up to $1,000. You're watching Guido's Astro Forum, I'm Guido Willemans and let's dive right in. For just $2.99, you can join my channel by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button below this video. You'll get exclusive perks like my three hour planetary imaging masterclass and a collection of my high quality deep sky images. Let's explore the universe together. Join now. So the first question I often get is, do you really need an astrophotography camera to capture the night sky through your telescope? And the answer to that question is of course, no. If you have a DSLR camera laying around like this one or your smartphone, you can attach that DSLR camera or smartphone to your telescope to start taking images of the night sky. All you need to do is just disconnect your lens and get a T2 adapter like this one. You can connect that T2 adapter and you put that DSLR camera into your telescope and you can start taking images of the night sky. Now, these T2 adapters are available for about $15 and there are also many smartphone adapters available on the market today, so I will link to those adapters in the video description below, which brings me to the second question. So, why would you invest in a dedicated astrophotography camera? Well, that's a good question. Unlike DSLR cameras or smartphones, which are designed for daytime use, astrophotography cameras, like this one, are built for nighttime photography. They often have advanced onboard technology like Sony's StarVis or StarVis 2 technology featuring highly sensitive back illuminated CMOS sensors that excel in capturing images under low light conditions with minimal noise. Moreover, astrophotography cameras are optimized to capture specific objects in the night sky depending on your preference. For example, planetary cameras like this one are optimized to capture high-speed videos to beat the astronomical seeing, as it is called, to actually capture high-quality planetary images, while dedicated astrophotography cameras like this one are often optimized with pal shade coolers, as you can see, to eliminate the buildup of thermal noise in your camera when taking long exposure photos of deep sky objects, which often results in noisy images when using your DSLR camera. Well, additionally, most astrophotography cameras, they lack an IR cut filter, and this enables you to capture a broader spectrum of light, including near-infrared light, which reveals intricate and faint details of deep sky objects, like faint spiral arms of a galaxy, or the faint details of a nebula. Which brings me to the third question. So how do you control a dedicated astrophotography camera? That's a good question. One significant drawback is that most astrophotography cameras lack a display screen, and this requires you to connect the camera via a USB cable to a laptop, a mini PC, or a similar device. And you will also need to download specific astrophotography software to connect and control your dedicated astrophotography camera. Now, one great alternative developed by ZWO is this ASI Air. This is a lightweight plug and play device which lets you control your astrophotography camera as well as other astrophotography gear wirelessly using only your smartphone, tablet, iPad or iPhone. Specifically designed for touch screen devices and as such the ASI Air is super user friendly. Now one significant drawback is that the ASI Air only works with ZWO cameras which ties you to that specific brand of cameras. There are other wireless solutions out there, but in my opinion at least, none match the convenience of the ASI Air, especially when you plan to get into deep sky astrophotography. All right, let's move on to discussing the best astrophotography cameras available under $1,000. It's good to know that well-known brands like ZWO alone already have 30 different cameras that fall into this price range. And of course, there are many other well-known camera brands out there like QHY, TubeTech, Altair Astro, and the list goes on and on. It's good to know that although the brands are different, 
Most brands use very similar Sony IMX CMOS camera sensors, making it easier to do cross-brand comparisons. To keep this overview concise, I am focusing on ZWO cameras up to $1,000 in this video. You can find links to both ZWO as well as other camera brands in the video description below. For just $2.99, you can join my channel by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button below this video. By joining, you'll unlock my detailed reviews of all ZWO cameras in this price range, available exclusively for my dear Astro Coffee supporters. But that's not all. You'll also get instant access to my three hour planetary imaging masterclass and a collection of my high quality deep sky images. Your support means the world to me and helps create more amazing content about astrophotography. Now, let me give you a summary of the best planetary and astrophotography cameras from ZWO under $1,000 that I would recommend to start your astrophotography journey. And remember, always do your own research. For planetary imaging on a budget, I would recommend the 2 megapixel ASI 662MC color camera, which is available for just $149. This is a cheap camera that features the latest Sony Starvis 2 technology for high performance in low light conditions. As for the best value camera for planetary imaging, I would recommend getting the 4 megapixel ASI 664MC camera, which is available for about $299. This is one of the fastest cameras out there that also features the latest Sony Starvis 2 technology. Now for those interested in hybrid cameras that accommodates both planetary imaging as well as deep sky astrophotography, I would recommend the 8.3 megapixel ASI 585MC Pro, which is this one actually, priced at just $599. The speed of this camera is fast enough to capture the planets and it also supports a Pelsier cooler, as you can see here, which dramatically reduces noise when taking long exposure photos of deep sky objects. And it also features the latest Sony Starvis 2 technology. Now, for those who are willing to spend a bit more money and mainly interested in deep sky astrophotography, I would actually recommend a 9 megapixel Sony uh, ZWO 533MC Pro camera, which is this one. Uh, and is priced at $799. Now this camera provides a larger view of the night sky as compared to the ASI 585MC Pro and it also features the latest Starvis 2 technology and it has a higher dynamic range. So if you want to spend $999 for deep sky astrophotography, I would actually recommend getting the ZWO 294MC Pro at this point in time at least. The camera provides the largest view of the night sky in this overview, but remember that it doesn't come with the latest Starvis 2 technology and it does produce some amp glow that needs to be calibrated out in post-processing. If you want to engage in planetary imaging or deep sky imaging with a monochrome camera, always remember you will need additional filters and a filter wheel which makes it more costly and complex um, but of course, in the end, you will end up with higher quality pictures. If you are willing to invest some time and money in that, uh, I would recommend the 8.3 megapixel ASI 678mm monochrome camera uh, priced at $349 um, because it offers a fast frame rate and has the latest Sony Starvis 2 technology on board uh, for planetary imaging. For deep sky astrophotography with a monochrome camera under $1,000, I would recommend getting the mono version of the ASI 533, that's the 533mm Pro, which is currently priced at $999. Uh, and that camera also features the latest Starvis 2 uh, Sony technology, uh, a Pelche cooler, and it has a high dynamic range uh, with its 14-bit analog to digital converters. Now for true nerds, I've made a comparison table of all ZWO cameras that are currently available uh, with all the features and you can find a link to that table in the video description below. Now, let me know what camera you prefer in the comment section and if you find this information useful, please give this video a thumbs up, clear skies and talk to you soon.